Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, April 24th, and we are going to be doing our USA Patriotic Blank today. So I am just going to get everything kind of pulled up here and get this shared. Hi, Donna. How are you doing, babe? Do, 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 do. Okay, y'all, I usually don't go live on Saturdays. I was planning on going live um, yesterday, but Mary had uh, her lives yesterday over Joseph, so I decided to just go ahead and go live today. So, hi Debbie, how are you doing, babe? How's everybody doing this Saturday morning? Almost Saturday afternoon. I was intending on getting on a little bit sooner this morning, but I have been working on patterns and cutting stuff and uh, doing all sorts of things. And so I finally looked at the clock and I was like, oh Lord, I need to get moving. Good morning, good morning. Hey mom, how are you? So glad y'all are here. Y'all, this one, um, I want to say this is a Victoria exclusive, um, but obviously this pattern, it's, it's pretty simple. It doesn't have a whole lot going on. So I did two coats of white um, and then I just came over top and, oh, y'all, I used the wrong blue on the hat. I just now realized I used, <laughs> I painted this part of the hat this morning and I used navy instead of brilliant. So I really need to go back over that. But I just have regular red and brilliant blue and light yellow on here. Um, this part of the hat, y'all, let me change that because what it was is I was about to go live earlier and I realized I didn't have this part done. So I came in here and threw some paint on and didn't realize I put the wrong paint color on here. So the reason, which you can totally use that, uh, this is navy, the, I don't know if you guys can really see that. You can use navy on here, uh, but it just kind of ends up making it really dark. So I, I went with the brilliant blue just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that brilliant blue and try to hide or really kind of cover that darkness of that um, navy. So uh, this is brilliant blue, not medium, brilliant blue. Hi Patricia, how are you doing babe? Y'all, I've been uh, struggling to wake up this morning. I was not sleeping good last night. My stomach had been hurting me. And so I kind of had that, um, you know, you go to sleep and then you're waking back up. You go to sleep and waking back up. And so this morning it's just been taking me a little bit longer to wake up. I'm tired. All right, y'all. First thing I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to go ahead and get my polka dots done on my A. Let me just show you guys where we're going with this. So here is uh, going to be our finished piece, that what this one on my table is going to look like after we get done with this. Um, so on my A, I'm doing some polka dots just to kind of, you know, jazz it up just a bit. Obviously, um, I did not put the polka dots um, on the etching. They're not etched. So if you buy the blank, you don't have to do polka dots because they're not on there. We're just going to use some polka dot daubers. Uh, hey, Debbie. Uh, Debbie says, how's Carly, y'all? Carly's doing better. Um, Carly is my 11-year-old daughter, and she was having some struggles at school this week that I, I shared on my personal page. Um, but she's doing better. We've been talking about it and stuff, and... Um, I think she's kind of got a, an understanding a little bit more about just people, y'all. People are not the nicest sometimes, and it's just part of life, unfortunately. So, all right, uh, y'all, this one's probably about an inch and a half. Uh, I need to really wash all my other daubers, so I usually use the Martha Stewart ones, but a lot of mine are in my water right now. All right, so this one is soaking up a ton of paint. I need to just get some more paint. All I'm using, y'all, is just white paint. These are some like just uh, sponge daubers. I think we sell these at the store. I don't know that we have them in stock, but we sell them for like, I think $2 and you get a pack of, uh, I wanna say four different sizes. So this is just the largest size out of there. So I'm just bringing in some polka dots, letting them kind of also fall off that edge a little bit so that it doesn't look so you know uniformed. We definitely don't want uniform. So when I'm doing this, if I go over top of any of my other lines, no worries. I just kind of take it, wipe it off, and that's how my shirt gets all this paint on it. Because I use my fingers a lot of times um, to kind of clean up boo-boos. I'm also wanting this to be, I'm trying to decide, y'all. I'm wanting this to be, um, I don't 
don't even remember where I was going with this. Uh, oh, I wanted these uh, polka dots on here. Uh, I, I think I want them underneath my shading. What did I do? I think I actually did them. I did them on top of my shading. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll keep on going with it. All right, so just some white polka dots on my A. That's like about an inch and a half. So, hi, David. Good morning. How are you? What's everybody up to this Saturday? We have been um, getting some stuff cut out. I'm working on some samples for um, Christmas in July. Uh, we're going to have a lot of new fun things coming. So I've been building sheets uh, on the computer and my husband has been running that CNC getting some stuff going <clears throat> so I can start getting some samples painted. But other than that, we kind of are just planning on staying at home and uh, getting some stuff done here around the shop because my shop has been kind of neglected in the last several weeks. Like we've been accumulating junk everywhere and we need to, you know, go through and start putting it up. All right, y'all, uh, this is my shading yellow. It has a little bit of water added into it. This is what I'm gonna use on uh, this light yellow. I'm just gonna use a little bit of shading yellow. I actually think that brush might be too wide. I'm gonna look for about a number 10. I might not even have a 10. I might just have a 12 over here. Uh, it's a 12, but that's okay. I'm looking for a brush that's a little bit shorter in length because I don't have a whole lot of surface area and also one that's smaller. Um, so this one is a number 12, a, a royal gold brush, and we'll just use that one. So I'm just going to dip that corner of my brush like the little triangle and lay it down in one corner and I just try to really make it to the next corner. I try to keep those strokes fluid. Every time just come back in and get a dab of paint if you need a little more. Oh, hold on y'all. I got a little too much paint on that corner. Now, as far as uh, trying to add any swish marks or anything with my shader, I'm not gonna do that um, on these stars, but I will come in with a little bit of white and give them some highlights at the end to help them kind of come together. All right, one more. Y'all, next week we will be doing, I'll, I'll be on next week live uh, doing the congrats grad diploma uh, one day next week. I don't know exactly when. And I think, I want to say that's my last live for April. And then we're going to go into our May live. Like the truck behind me, I think I'm moving the wrong way. Uh, this truck will be coming up next month that we'll be doing. We do have that blank back restocked. Um, I actually restocked them last weekend, but I completely forgot to make a post about it. So if you were one of the ones waiting on that pattern because we had sold out, I do have more uh, blanks available in the shop. Now this blank that we're doing today, it is 13 and a half inches tall and it's 24 inches wide and it sells for $16. Again, uh, the only, I guess, pattern that you have with your letters is you do have stripes on your S. But the A we did with um, sponge daubers. All right, now let's go ahead and get our red, our shading red, and get a little bit of shading on the U and then on um, the stripes on my S. So if you don't happen to have shading red at home, all you need to do is mix together some red and some black. And honestly, some of the shading red lately, it's been almost too dark, so I've been adding more um, red to it. So this is just shading red number 23. Again, you don't have it, you can always mix it. It's a nice and easy color to mix. Adding a little bit of water to that because whenever I shade, I like my paint watered down just slightly, not much, just a little bit, to help my, uh, my brush have more fluid strokes, more fluid movement. All right. Now, when I, when I was doing these letters, I'm not doing the sides. I'm just kind of doing uh, my stripes in the middle. So I'm not taking that shading on the outside because I think when you have stripes, if you try to do all that, it just kind of becomes a blob. So I'm kind of going on the top and just doing one swipe across with my color. 
And then I'm going to come in with that blue and do the same thing. Just one swipe, not too many swipes. Because you could really, it's one of those things you can kind of just go overboard with sometimes. And then it just gets really dark on you. And we don't want that. We want it to be bright and patriotic. Ooh, samples. I cannot wait, y'all. I, uh, I've been spending quite a bit of time lately trying to get um, some samples going for projects that we're going to do later on this summer. And um, it just gets me so excited. Like, I, I just cannot wait to get to Christmas. At least to painting Christmas, because we usually paint Christmas in July. And we just, I get so excited for it. I love it. Might also be because I still have all my house decorated for Christmas, you know. Just love it. I don't know what to say. All right, y'all, I'm washing out that brush. I'm going to continue just using the same exact brush. I'm actually too, I think I need to, no, I'm looking at my sample, trying to see if I even tried to get shading on there. I did not. So I'm not going to worry about trying to blow dry that at the moment. All right, now, my brilliant blue is that, is that base. I'm going to use navy blue to shade it. And that's kind of why I went with the brilliant as opposed to the navy blue, because I just thought it would end up being really, really dark. So now this navy I have in my cup, it has a lot of water added into it because I think I was, I was outlining something, maybe it was a gnome beard or um, snow or something. And so when I'm outlining with my colors, I do happen to put a, a lot more paint in there than normal. I mean, a lot more paint, <laughs> more water. Uh, but when it comes to shading, I like my paint to be a little thicker. I definitely like it more watery when I am outlining. All right, still sticking with that same brush, just loading the corner again. When it comes to those stripes, just do one swipe on one side. So since I've been keeping it on the top of every stripe, I kind of pulled a little red in there, uh, that's the same thing I'm doing with my blue so that it looks consistent. All of your stripes between your colors will look consistent if you stay on that same side. Okay. So now that S has its shading. Now, y'all, on my A, I really should have done, I wasn't thinking. I thought I was thinking I had my um, polka dots underneath. I mean, on top of my, sorry. I was thinking I had my shading on top of my polka dots, but that's not the case. I had my shading under the polka dots. So really, I should have done that first. But that's okay. All I'm going to do is just kind of go around at this moment and kind of stay out of that wet paint and just get a little shading on here. Kind of jazz it up. Now here I pulled a little bit of that white in. I'm gonna wipe it off. I'm gonna take that white back off my brush. It's kind of why I have a, a napkin here. Anytime you pull in paint, no worries. Just wipe it off and go right back over top of it. There we go. All right, just a little bit more right here. Okay, y'all, for shading, that's it. This piece is already shaded. Everything that we need to do now is just script liner. It's such a small piece that you don't want to do too much shading because it can really become overwhelming to the eye. Hi, Pat. Hi, Jane. How are you guys doing? Um, when it comes to the little patriotic top hat, your spacing, I mean, look, my, my finger's wider than some of that spacing, so it's just not really wide enough to try to uh, shade. So we're just going to go ahead and switch and grab our script liner and start outlining. Have you seen the pizza anymore? Do we have any If it's not in the house, we don't. Sorry, baby. All right, uh, let me grab a script liner. We're going to use a Royal Gold number four. Let me see. Y'all, one of these brushes, and I'll probably end up being the one I grab. We'll see. One of these brushes keeps doing that V split on me, and when it starts to do that, I really can't use it much. Let me hit this with a blow dryer. It's going to be kind of hard to outline when it's still really wet like it is. There we go. Needed to get it a little warmer. Perfectly dry, but I am trying to just get it dry enough 
that my paint colors are not mixing as I'm coming around with that strip liner. At this point, I think I'm good over here. It's more these polka dots. I think I did them a little too, um, too thick with that paint. So they're still really, really wet. And I want to come over top of them with my black. Just kind of need to dry them just a bit. Just enough. Okay. I think that'll work. We'll try our best. All right, y'all. We're going to do two different outline colors. We're going to do black. And then on our stars, I'm going to actually do shading orange. Definitely still have wet paint everywhere. Good morning, Jennifer. How are you? Or I don't even know if it's morning. It might be afternoon by now. Um, the day is, it's just, you know, days always seem to fly for me. So half the time I'm saying morning and it's, it's not even morning. All right, y'all. I'm trying to see. I've got stuff all over my table, so it gets kind of hard sometimes to know where all my stuff is. I'm getting some black paint. I'm adding some water. Uh, whenever I do script liner, anytime I have that script liner in my hand, I like to water down my paint just a little bit more. So that way I get the real good fluid motion that I'm, I'm trying to achieve. And so I almost get my paint to where it's almost watery. Let's just see. I think that'll work for us. Y'all, this is a, a Royal Gold Script Liner number four. These same script liners I'm always using. I'm just going to take that black and kind of come in on the perimeter of, of everything and then obviously on those lines as well. For whatever reason, I don't know, I don't know if anybody else has experienced this, but whenever you're painting over top of shading red, has anybody else had a problem with the paint separating? Only on shading red. It's doing it right here in front of me, even though I windexed it before we got started. Uh, but it's almost like with that shading red, it almost needs to be windexed again after it dries. So I'm gonna have kind of a few little spots I'll definitely have to come back and touch up because it's gonna to have to be um, Windex. So it's gonna to have to be completely dry in Windex before I can fix that. Let me show you guys. I'm really curious to know if y'all ever see this. Can y'all see that paint separating on that shading red? That's just something I, I've noticed, especially you know between Windex and for whatever reason, that shading red just does not like me. Uh, and so the only way to really fix that is number one, just let it dry. And then number two, as soon as it, it, when it's dry, come back over with some Windex, wipe it back down, and then just go right back over top of your lines. Typically, whenever I'm messing with shading red, I already know this about it. And so like when I'm painting stuff, you know, to sell or painting stuff for samples, I do wait for it to dry and then I uh, Windex again and then go at it right after you get done Windexing. I really truly wish I understood why the shading red has been doing that, but for whatever reason, I've been really dealing with that in the last several months. And I guess I seen Debbie says yes, so I guess I'm not the only one, huh? Hi Joyce, how are you doing babe? Hi Carla, good morning or afternoon. What is everybody up to on this beautiful day? Y'all, the weather was so, so gross yesterday and uh, had severe storms all over. Luckily for us, they missed uh, most of us. We, didn't, we had some of the weather, but not all the really bad stuff. That seemed to kind of stay more north up towards like Livingston, Huntsville area. So, all right, y'all, this one, uh, as soon as I get done with this black, we'll switch over and we will do the um, shading orange on our stars. And then after that, just a little bit of highlights and this guy will be good to go. Obviously, uh, the separating paint on the, um, the shading red, I'll touch that up once it dries and it won't be no big deal. This little hat 
it's kind of small. So if you're like me and you have a heavy hand, you really have to focus on not pushing down too hard because then you'll make these lines just too wide. Jennifer says it's rainy here. Oh, I'm sorry, Jennifer. We had that yesterday, but I'm glad it's gone. Hi, Lupe. Good morning. How are you? Debbie says tornadoes are around Conroe somewhere. Yes, I've seen that, uh, but they tend to stay, uh, or at least what we were seeing on the weather, most of it tend to stay north of us. We are on the south side of Conroe, so we are a lot closer to um, like Porter and Woodlands. Uh, in fact, both are about 10 minutes from us to get to Porter and Woodlands. So luckily we lucked out. I did see a lot of people um, dealing with like down trees and power lines and that sort of stuff. Some of these lines are almost too thick, y'all. It's that heavy hand of mine. All right, now let's just switch over here. We're gonna do our A and then we will end up switching colors. So uh, Carla says, I need to get to painting something, uh, something I have. Yes, girl, get to it. I have been, uh, I was telling everybody earlier, I've been working on new samples uh, for new things that we're gonna be doing this year, both uh, blanks for you guys, as well as like painted stuff, you know, for all of our other customers. And I just start to get really excited whenever I am uh, working on new stuff. And so it just keeps me wanting, you know, like wanting to paint, you know, that excitement of doing something new, especially when this is what you do for a living, you know, that you really do rely on that excitement from new things. You'll notice in between my strokes, I kind of almost just dip that tip back in my my little cup and just kind of grab just a little bit more paint each time. Not a lot, just a little bit. Just drip a big old blob of paint. That's okay. Clean this up. Okay, so that black is done until it dries and I can touch it up. We, we already know, right? We talked about that. I do have some icky spots on that shading red. So let me cap that. Yo, I'm gonna just grab that dryer and I just need to get these couple little spots that are touching those stars. Uh, just dry or even just tacky. That way I can come in with that shading orange and that shading orange won't pick up that black. We don't want the black around the stars. Hi Cindy, how are you doing? Debbie says no painting for me for a couple of weeks. Boo. Debbie, is that because of construction? I know a lot of, I think that's part of why <clears throat> we haven't been seeing Victoria lately. It's because after that uh, winter storm, a lot of people, including Debbie and Victoria, they had damaged their homes, so they've been dealing with um, renovations. And so, yeah, Debbie says, yeah, yeah, the renovation stuff, y'all. I'm so sorry, my dear. I know, uh, unfortunately, there's so many people going through that right now. I was fortunate to not be one of them. Um, but yeah, I can't imagine. I know it's not easy. Just think about how nice it'll be when it is done. And then you can get back to painting. All right, y'all, so this, uh, my stars. My base is light yellow. I shaded and shading yellow. And then I'm using shading orange uh, for that outline. If you wanted something a little bit darker, you could use a uh, red orange which you could even mix that with shading orange. You, all you gotta do is just mix a little bit of red um, into here. But I just like the contrast of the shading orange. I thought it looked really good. All right, I'm gonna turn this around. Same thing over here. The one thing I, I kind of, uh, I might come back to touch up is uh, underneath this shading orange, you can kind of see like a little bit of black right here, for instance, and stuff like that. So if when it dries, if I feel like, man, I need to come in and do a couple touch ups, I will, it's no big deal. Just looking at it here, what it's just telling me I might need to do a few touch ups, it's just not 100% sure. 
but the, I think the shading orange really uh, makes these stars pop over top of all the red, white, and blue. on here and this guy will be done. This one's an easy peasy one. It's lots of fun, y'all. Alright, get that white. Y'all, anytime I'm doing highlights, I like my paint like almost on a water consistency kind of thing. It's just how I like it. Get that mixed up. Make sure it's really, really, for me, really watered down. You don't have to do that unless you like it like that, you know, but that's just kind of uh, my, sorry, all my bristles are kind of messed up. That's just the way that I like to do it. So I'm going to just kind of come in and almost just do like a little very light, wispy uh, star right there in the middle. I'm going to do the same over here. I don't even know if y'all can see that yet, but I will, I'll make sure and show you guys up close here in just a second. I'm just very gently dipping that brush in my white and just kind of staying on the inside and, and kind of coming in with a little white star. Same thing up here. All right, and now let's start getting some uh, white done on here. Y'all, this is probably gonna end up a little bit gray uh, because I am gonna come over top of some of this black. But I, whenever I had painted this sample, I actually tried to come in on each, um, each stripe and do a, um, a white, like wispy line, and I didn't care for it. So I thought it looked a lot better um, if you actually just kind of take it over top of those stripes like this. But if you are going to do it like that, uh, don't do it while all this black is wet like I'm doing right now. You definitely are going to want to wait for it to dry. But I just kind of felt like doing it over top of those stripes, it really pulls that S together. What do you guys think? Hi, Donna. Hi, Carla. How are you doing, babe? Good to see you guys. All right, y'all, since I have um, those polka dots on my A, I'm leaving my A as far as my highlighting goes. I will come over here to my U and just do, you know, a few, like, wispy kind of swipes on there. And then, you know what, I'm looking at my top hat. I'll do a few. I'm looking at my sample. I'm trying to, y'all, sometimes I just cannot remember how exactly I did something before. got to double check myself. Super, super light. Ta-da! All right, that is it. She is done. Let me show you guys up close. Okay, so look inside of that star. I kind of just came in with that white and almost just, you know, kind of freehanded a little white star for my, um, for my highlights inside of those. And then um, other than that, obviously, we just kind of stick with those color schemes. I did um, red and brilliant blue and light yellow and white and that was about it now i want y'all to look up here on that u do you see what i'm talking about with that separated paint that's what i'm gonna have i'm gonna have to touch all of this up uh once it dries what i'm gonna do is i windex over top of it and i literally take that paintbrush right back over top and it'll be nice and smooth i know it's not smooth right now but i will touch that up it happens for whatever reason, shading red, y'all. Shading red just does not like me. So there is your look for today, y'all. I did start, oh, let me hold this one up that's dry. I did start with two coats of uh, just white and then came in again with uh, red, brilliant blue, and light yellow. For shading on my yellow, I used uh, shading yellow and I outlined in shading orange. On my red, I used shading red for uh, shading. And then my blue, I used a little bit of navy blue outlined it in black and there you go she's done let's see mary says love it joy so cute uh joyce i do see it yes yeah, see it happens y'all 
Jane says she finished hers yesterday. Jane, uh, post a photo. We'd love to see it, you guys. Thank you all for hanging out with me on this Saturday. I uh, know next week I will do the uh, congrats grad diploma, and then we'll move into May and all the rest of those pieces that we released in April and that we have not done tutorials on, we will be doing those in May. So you guys look for me next week. I'll try to make sure and post beforehand. I did not do that this morning. So sorry. Uh, but thank y'all for hanging out. Y'all enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll see everybody next week. Bye, guys.